Welcome back to Site Tekener Mountain SiteWorks training videos. In this video, I'm going to do another house layout using a PDF image. If you watched my last video, I used the back of the curb on this area right here, and I created a line string and offset it to establish where the house is going to be. This video, we're going to actually use property corners that I've got pinned in the back of the curb right here. We're going to create a job site put our own northing easting elevations in there at one point calibration. We're going to bring that PDF image in and we're going to geo-reference it and do kind of the same thing. But these training videos are intended to show you different ways that you can do um, kind of the same processes to find out where the house needs to be, how to lay it out, do your own layout, make your own model, etc., etc. This is just another way of doing it. Uh, I just want to show you how to do it. So let's go ahead and get set up. So what I found is my first property corner right here. I'm actually going to use that to do my site calibration off also, just so that uh, I can actually use something that I can always go back to. So what I'm going to do is go to Project Setup, Change Project here, and we're going to create a new one. We will call this the uh, House Lot uh, Number 330, whoops, 330 Layout. Uh, U.S. Survey Feet, not worried about anything else in here. I don't have a map, calibration, none of that. I'm going to just create my own kind of dummied in project as I call it. So right here, I'm going to call this layout for my work order. Then on the design, I don't have a design. I'm going to go ahead and start this project up. So I'm set up on my control point right here. Um, I already had my rover running from doing some other work. so. What I'm going to do is go into the menu, go to Project Setup, and go to Project Calibration. And in here, I'm going to change the default numbers. I'm going to put in 5,000. These are just ones that I use. You can use what you want. And once again, I'm going to establish a 100 off the back of the curb here. So I got my quick release on, 6.562, and I'm going to do a one-point calibration for 15 seconds right here to establish a project. And it'll be based off of this point right here. Now that I've got my project set up, I can zoom down in and see that I've got a point right there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to record a point. So right off the bat, while I'm still here on this point, I'm going to establish this as a property corner as a point on my screen because I currently have nothing. So I'm going to go into my roller stuck in the mud, which is my measure type. And for point, I'll just call this uh, prop corner. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to say no, I don't want it as a surface i'm going to do a feature and i'm going to hit accept basically just create a point right here now i know what you're thinking i already had a triangle there from when i did my site calibration you can just leave that point as your site calibration and use that to reference but i like to have a separate point there so now we'll just walk over here to my next property corner right here is my second property corner I'm going to set up on this the exact same way. Level up, and I'm going to do the same thing. We'll just call this property corner, but it's going to be property corner one because it doesn't like duplicates. So there we go. We got two points that are actually recorded on the screen here. If you want, you can hit the gear. Prop uh, point name to actually turn that on. You don't have to. I just like to actually see those sometimes, then I can differentiate between the two. So I've got my start point and property corner, both of those right there. Now, what I'm going to do to bring my PDF image in is I'm going to bring this, throw my thumb drive in right here, bottom of my data collector. And now what I'm going to do is hit the, sh the gear on the right side right here, go to images. I'm going to check the box to turn on images. I'm going to turn the transparency to zero, which is going to make it as bright as it can be. And I'm going to hit the plus button because I first have to bring it into the data collector. So I'm going to change to my D drive. And right there you can see I've got proper house property corners. So we're going to go ahead and hit accept, bring it in. And you can see on the screen there the image it's bringing in. There's two different points. So now what I'm going to do is import that. And it does not have a world file with it, which means it's not um, already associated to a position. So I'm going to geo-reference it by saying yes. Now, knowing that I want it to be behind me here, I need to make sure that I hit the correct ones on the screen here. 
to make sure it orients the way that I want. So for the first one right here, I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, zoom in on the current one that I'm on. So right there, I'm going to zoom in and first hit the actual point that I recorded on the ground. Then on the second side here, it's going to ask me which point that corresponds to on the screen here. And I'm going to zoom way in so I can touch right in the middle of that. Now, same thing with the second one. We're going to go ahead and zoom in on the uh, property corner where my start point was. Tap that. I'm going to do property corner. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the image here. Zoom way in as close as I can so I can tap it right in the middle and hit accept. So now it geo-references that image for me. And it loads it up. So we can zoom all the way out on the project. As soon as I've got that, you can see it on the screen. So now what I can do is walk out where it referenced that uh, image. Now, remind you that this is not actual line work. This is just a PDF image. There is no associated line. I'm going to do that on the next video. So now I can walk out right about where the building should be or house footprint. And you can see I can just go ahead and start zooming in. If I need to be the guy that just lays it out, I can literally come right here and I can zoom in and hover right over the top of those control, or excuse me, the corners of the house. And I can do many, many different things. I can do like in my last video where I start shooting line strings um, and making my own model, or I can just start staking points right here and laying it out. So that is one way to do a layout of a house footprint in an area like this where you can see it's just wide open. There's really nothing to reference to, but we have to make sure the house is exactly where it needs to be. So we have uh, the property corners that were provided from the engineer and we can lay it out that way. So. Hopefully this helps and uh, you can apply it to what you guys are actually doing out there in the field. I know this is kind of a cookie cutter approach, but just get your minds thinking and, and working in the way that it needs to, to to use this SiteWorks program to your advantage if you don't have CAD or have a surveyor or he's too busy, et cetera, et cetera. So thank you for watching this video from Site Tech Inner Mountain.